Hey, I'm JR and I'm here in the video studio today with a couple really nice Onkyo receivers. We're going to be talking about three different receivers today. We have two of them here. We'll be talking about the TXRZ 630, the 730, and the 830. Uh, they're all very similar with a couple step up features as you move up the line. They're all three nine channel receivers. They start out at 90 watts per channel in the 630. Uh, of course, they are all home theater receivers, which means they are able to decode all of the popular home theater surround sound formats, Dolby Digital, DTS, and there's enough channels in there that you can put height speakers in there to get an immersive 3D sound if you want to go with Dolby Atmos or DTS-X. Uh, when you go to set these receivers up, you'll be happy to find that there is a mic included, which allows you to use Ankyo's AccuEQ system Put that mic in your room and let it calibrate your room and fix any weirdness in the sound of your room and so your home theater sounds as accurate and immersive as possible. As far as playing music on these receivers, there's a wealth of choices to choose from. Of course, they do have Wi-Fi built in, which means they'll be on your network and uh, able to play music from many places, such as your PC, if you have music stored on a computer on the same network, uh, internet radio, Pandora, Deezer, Spotify, Tidal, TuneIn, all the major players in the world of streaming audio. If you have something on your phone that you want to send over to the receiver, you can use Chromecast to do that. Or if you have an iPhone, you can use AirPlay to do that. Uh, if you want to control your receiver using your Google Home, you can do that as well. And of course, they have Bluetooth as well, so if you just want to send music over to it directly from your phone without getting on your Wi-Fi, uh, you can do that as well. Another nice thing about these Ankyo receivers is that they are more compatible with the Sonos Connect than most other receivers. If you have your Sonos Connect, part of a Sonos wireless music system in your home, uh, these receivers will switch to the Sonos Connect input when you start playing a song in the Sonos app. Again, that's mo something most receivers will not do. As far as high-res music goes, if you have a bunch of really nice high-res music files on your computer or USB, you will be able to play them on this thing. It has a great D to A converter uh, that can deal with 24-bit, uh, 192 kilohertz PCM music files, as well as DSD files up to 5.6 megahertz. Let's talk about power and zones and sound here. These things uh, all have three powered zones. That means you could have different sources playing in three different rooms of your house with speakers powered by the amplifiers in these receivers in all three separate zones, separate volume control, source control right from your remote. Uh, it's a pretty robust multi-room music system built right in. Of course, if you do that, you'll be limited to a 5.2 home theater uh, system in the main room. If you'd rather put all of those channels into your home theater, of course, you can go all the way to a full nine channel home theater surround sound system. Uh, it's pretty great. Uh, if, you would, uh, if you're not looking to do Atmos with the height speakers, you can take those two channels and dedicate them to bi-amping your front floor standing speakers, some big speakers that can really take advantage of that power. You can do that, which of course makes for a, a really great two channel music listening experience and your front speakers in your home theater just sound that much bigger and more robust. All right, let's talk about inputs and outputs. There are seven HDMI inputs on these receivers. And of course, they are all compatible with uh, everything you would want them to be compatible with. Copyright protection, 4K, HDR. Uh, they're really able to pass through the best of what your high def source material can give you. There are also inputs on the back for your non-high def or your older stuff like your VCR or maybe an older gaming console. There's component video inputs and composite video inputs on the back as well. And there's plenty of audio input. So if you wanna plug in a CD player, a tape deck, a reel-to-reel, -reel, whatever you got, you can plug them in, including a record player. This does have a phono preamp built in. In addition, you, uh, since these receivers are on your network, uh, you can use your phone as a remote. You just download the free app. It's compatible with Apple and Android phones. So you can control this receiver anywhere, which will be very handy, especially if you have speakers in multiple rooms of your home being powered by this receiver. All right, let's talk about what you get when you step up from the 630 to the 730. You're gonna get a little bit more power. Instead of 90 watts, it's gonna be about 100 watts per channel. Uh, there are preamp outputs, however, for up to 11 channels plus two subwoofers. So if you wanted to add external amps to make your home theater that much more powerful, you have the outputs to do it on the 730. They also took the time and the expense to get it certified as THX 
certified select, which means you know it's as good as can be at recreating the movie theater sound in your home. If you step all the way up to the 830, you're gonna get even more power, 120 watts all the way around on nine channels. The ability to play DSD files up to 11.2 megahertz. And last but not least, the direct or pure mode. When you hit the direct or pure button, it turns off any digital processing whatsoever. So all of your analog music sources will sound as pure as they possibly can. That's the Onkyo lineup of receivers, the TX RZ 630, 730, and 830. If you have questions about home theater receivers or anything, give Crutchfield a call. You can chat with our advisors online or send us an email. We're here to help you get your home theater sounding awesome.